Hello, everyone. This is Yamina from Dr. GPCR. We're excited today to have with us Dr. Adriano Marchese. Uh, he's a professor at the Department of Biochemistry at the Medical College of Wisconsin, uh, Wisconsin in Milwaukee. Uh, today, we're going to be uh, hearing a talk about the regulation of GPCR signaling and trafficking by ubiquitin. Before I uh, give Adriano the floor, I want to ask you to... Um, Make sure that you have your microphone off during the talk. If you have questions, uh, you may uh, ask the questions as they come up. Feel free to either type them in the chat or just turn on your camera and your mic to ask the questions from our speaker. And um, we're excited to have you here today. Adriano, the floor is yours. Appreciate the invitation, Yamina. Thank, thank you. Um, welcome, everybody. As Yamina said, I'll be talking today about uh, GPCR uh, regulation by ubiquitin. And one thing that we've been working, it's a topic that we've been working on my lab for uh, a while now, and really in relationship to the endocytic pathway. So here's just a, a diagram showing the trafficking along the endocytic pathway uh, that GPCR has taken. And certainly this type of trafficking governs the cell surface availability of receptors. So it affects agonist responsiveness. Quite well. So receptors, when they bind to uh, an agonist, uh, undergo clathrin, usually clathrin mediated endocytosis. So of course, there are other mechanisms uh, by which receptors get internalized. They can go agonist independently inside cells. Um, and then these, these vesicles in the plasma membrane pinch off, they fuse with uh, an early compartment known as an early endosome. Uh, receptors from there um, can either traffic back to the cell surface through a recycling endosome uh, or go through the recycling pathway leading to resensitization of signaling, or receptors can actually be targeted into the degradative pathway uh, via the multivesicular body by incorporation into ILVs or intraluminal vesicles, and then delivered uh, where these vesicles fuse with lysosomes and, and the contents are delivered inside the lumen where degradative enzymes degrade receptors and other, and other content. This process, when it involves a GPCR, leads to down-regulation of signaling or long-term uh, regulation of signaling. And of course, there's a loss in the receptor complement. And, and to resensitize signaling, usually you'd have to resynthesize re uh, the receptor. The full episode of the Dr. GPCR Virtual Cafe is now only available in the Dr. GPCR ecosystem with a paid membership. Visit ecosystem.drgpcr.com to sign up, join the ecosystem, and consume all things Dr. GPCR and learn more about what's hot in our field today.